Today we are going to review the drop shot with Mauri Andrini. Vamos, Vamos Mauri! Because that is what makes the difference between you and the top players. That's why decisions in paddle make a massive difference. And the drop shot is a concept. And that happens actually with all the beginners, intermediate and even advanced players. Mauri, I want to know my five mistakes during the drop shot. The drop shot, yes. Well, we're going to start with the first one. Yeah, it's a technical one. You are, you know, your wrist is too stiff when you, and, you, and, it's, and it's like open, it's pronated here. Yeah, well, at some point you are showing, since the beginning, very beginning, you are showing already what you're going to do with the shot, you know? And so in this way, what you're going to get is a kind of a backhand volley cross court. Does not necessarily mean that it's a very drop shot, yeah? So technically, it's not bad, but this one, it is bad. Yeah, we have to pick up the racket in different way in order to decide then if I want to hit it cross court, to the middle, or in parallel. So this is the first mistake that I see that you do when you hit the ball cross court. Wrist. Yes. All right. Very stiff. Mauri, second one. First one was my wrist. The second one is? The second one is a tactical. All right. It's a tactical mistake, I would say. It's not a mistake. I think that you tried your best because you were trying all the time to do the drop shot and the drop shot, the, the name itself talks itself, you know, it's a, what is that drop shot about? Well, there is a drop shot that the ball stays after the bounce stays there. That is the idea of the drop shot. But I, at some point you are doing the ball to bounce very close to the net. It's too risky. And that happens actually with all the beginners, intermediate and even advanced players who think that they, have, they got to do the drop shots, the drop shots they see on, 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 oh, on internet. Know, yeah. And the drop shot is a concept. The drop shot is when you're gonna hit the drop shot. I play a volley to the middle, and then when that player is running towards the, the, the sidewall, when the player is coming back, I play a drop shot. So perhaps they're gonna reach the drop shot. Yes, and no problem. But they will be under pressure. They might take a wrong decision, yeah? With a drop shot, you're not gonna win all the time, but at least you're gonna put your opponents under some pressure. Mauri, third one? Third one. Is that technical or tactical mistake? It's a, it's, a, it's a technical, it's more technical mistake, yeah? But not here on the footwork, yeah? Mm -hmm. Something that I've seen is that, but not only for the drop shot, also for any, any single shot that we play when we're at the net. When we're at the net, and this is the question, do we have time or we don't have much time available? We don't have so we much don't time. We don't have that much. I mean, that's paddle about, you know? The time available is very short. That's why decisions in paddle make a massive difference and that's why tactically is more important than technically but when in paddle what we need and when we are there is to do the split step or the check step where depending where, where, where the, the, the people are watching from yeah so the check step or the speed step what happens is that you got to do it because if you don't imagine that you do this look the ball is coming and instead of doing the speed step I do this and this imagine they play to my forehand now look too difficult now, I do this and this, and they play to my backhand. Difficult. So that's why the split step is as important as hitting the ball. If you have a player who is coming and playing like this, and playing like this, technically it's not correct down the footwork. Yes? So it's important that you do the split step, because you were just, uh, sorry, playing with the backhand yeah, here, yeah, but you were not doing the split step. You, you were doing this and going to the shot. Back and going to the shot. Yeah. Wait, take your time, split step, move. But take your time, split step, and then move. In that way, you will reach the shot more comfortably in order to get a better shot. The fourth mistake is uh, that you are at some point not using, it's a technical one, yeah? Mm -hmm. You are not using, um, you're, you're not using this technique to play the, the, the drop shot, yeah? You are, as it's very stiff, as I told you before in the first, in the first mistake, yeah, you are not like releasing the, the, the fingers in, op in order that to make the ball to stay like kind of I'm slightly the longer. The same way that I hit the, 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 volley. the volley. Exactly. But you're choosing that shot when the ball is down because you don't have any other option. And actually, you can do the drop shot when the ball is high. You can do a drop shot whenever you want because a drop shot is a concept that you want your opponents to, 
to be struggling to reach, to go to the net position uncomfortably. That's the, the aiming, you know? People mistake sometimes in the sport of paddling concepts. They don't understand that a drop shot is for that and the lob is not a defensive shot. It's an offensive shot. If you think that, that the lob is, an of, is, a, is a defensive shot, go and play against Paulo Lima. I go and play against Sanjo cross court and see if the lobs are defensive or offensive. So as the shot is an offensive shot, you got to think that you have to play the shot when you are not under pressure. If you're under pressure, the lobe is going to be bad. It's going to be a defensive shot. So yes, in so. my case, Good. I need to like... Release a little bit, release a little bit there. Keep with your thumb, your thumb finger. Yes, keep it there and then open with these three fingers or two fingers, open a little bit in order to release the muscles a little bit and also to make the ball to stay slightly longer instead of this, this, yes? Not this, this. Make the ball stays with you a little bit longer so your, your drop shot will be much better. The fifth one, it's not a mistake. It is. It's something that we can correct very quick. Yes, for sure. Let's see. So, well done. So, uh, the, the, the thing is that you, as you hold the racket very firmly in this way, yeah, it's just telling you that you're going to hit the ball cross court. And it's, if you play like 40 shots cross court, you told me, Mari, uh, have a look on my, on my drop shot. I said, well, okay, let's have a look. And cross court, cross court, cross court, cross court. I said, hey, listen, why don't you play down the line? Why don't you play to the middle? The idea is that the drop shot you can play everywhere because if you have this, you are telling me already that you're going to hit cross court and it's very predictable. You can also, what I mean is that prepare here and then you can decide to play cross court if you hit the ball in front, down the, down the middle if you hit the ball like in line with your body or down the line if you hit the ball a little bit behind. So depending on the contact with the ball, you will decide if you hit the ball cross court to the middle or down the line, but not thanks to your wrist thanks to the contact with the ball. Yes, so consider not to hit only the drop shot that far, that close to the net, and not only cross court. You can also and become more unpredictable player because that is what makes the difference between you and the top players. The time that you, that you play paddle as well, but as well the decisions and how they hide the shots. They do this and you, God knows where this ball is gonna go because they can just slightly in one second decide to do this and change the ball there, or this and hit the ball there and hit slow there fast. Yeah, so make sure that when you play the drop shot, you can decide to play cross court, middle or down the line. Mauri, thanks for this masterclass regarding the drop shot. This is Hello Padel Academy. And this is just different level. Malissima. No, malissima.